Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and that was Puppy and Alfred. And today we are continuing this kind of impromptu hazardous things for your cats series. We are going to talk about a list of human foods that you should never, ever, ever feed them. Before we get started, let's kick things off with the meow out of the week, which goes to two people again this week. And those two people are Aisha Torres and Alyssa H. Thank you both for always engaging and leaving sweet comments and specifically on the video about how Puppy and Alfred evacuated Hurricane Dorian. Your kindness and sweet words are very, very much appreciated by me and of course by the boys. And for anybody else who would potentially like to be the meowed out of the week in next week's video, all you have to do is like this video today and leave a comment below telling me your favorite part about today's video. By the way, if this is your first time joining us, Welcome. If you like videos having to do with cat stuff, usually things having to do with raw cat food and kitty nutrition, but also care tips and things like today's video. And we also post things for humans like fitness stuff and workouts and recipes, stress management tips, and honestly, whatever else I feel like posting. So if you'd like to see a new video every cat or day and usually sprinkled in throughout the week, make sure to click that subscribe button below here on YouTube. And if you're watching this on Facebook, just follow our page, Cat Lady Fitness. If you're not new here, then it's probably needless to say that you know what this species appropriate carnivore diet that honors your cat's inherent instinct is and what that entails which P.S., if you didn't know, it's it's raw cat food. And like I've spoken about many, many times before, one of the benefits of feeding your cat a raw meat and organ-based diet is that after a while, they're less likely to beg for any foods that fall out of this kind of meat, protein, and treat category. This is something that many people have mentioned to me and that I've noticed myself is that once your cat is getting the proper nutrients, the proper type of food, making sure that the meals are timed out as opposed to free feeding, then they basically stop begging for random human foods and lose interest in any kind of food that isn't protein-based. That said, if you do have a particularly beggy cat or one that is super curious to try whatever you're eating, here is a list of human foods that you should never ever give your cat because they can cause some pretty serious health problems and not only be harmful, but potentially fatal. Let's kick this list off with a handful of the more obvious no-no foods when it comes to giving them to your cat. And those would be alcohol, caffeine, and chocolate. And I'm gonna add another obvious one, edibles. And I threw edibles in there because they are becoming more and more popular these days, but that does not mean that they're okay for your feline fur baby. And with things like alcohol in particular, it's important to be aware that that could be an ingredient in something for your cat. For example, oftentimes it may be in some dental products or it could be in some kind of supplement that is marketed towards cats. So just always make sure to read the ingredients. You would think that the companies producing these kinds of items would take heed of that, but it's always important to remain responsible for yourself and for your cat and to just double check just in case because you'd be surprised sometimes in the things that you'll find that are supposedly safe for your pet or for yourself, but actually do more harm than good. And a little side note, just because it, it it kind of hurts my heart to see. It makes me feel really bad when I see videos of people blowing a certain smoke into their, their pet's face and thinking it's funny. I don't know if it's just a silly soft spot I have or something, but it just doesn't seem like a very nice thing to do. So why don't you, you know, blow it in your human friend's face instead, perhaps. Now, something else I wanted to mention that you may or may not have seen if you've looked up hazardous foods for your cat, but that is xylitol. Xylitol is a sweetener. It's used oftentimes in foods, uh, usually candies, gums, things like that. It can also be used in things like toothpaste. But even though it's well known that it's incredibly toxic to dogs, there are yet to be any studies showing an adverse reaction 
in cats. So usually this is just included in a list to be safe since cats and dogs are oftentimes lumped into the same category, especially in articles of foods that are harmful to your pets. But just be aware that no studies have shown xylitol to be particularly harmful to cats. Despite that, it's still a good idea to avoid giving your cat anything that includes xylitol as an ingredient. Now, believe it or not, cats aren't typically attracted to sweet or sugary foods. Their systems don't produce salivary amylase, which is a digestive enzyme that breaks down carbohydrates in the mouth, which, for example, us humans have. So if your cat is into licking things like whipped cream or ice cream, I tend to see this very, very often, then it's safer to assume that there's some kind of dehydration happening and your cat is seeking hydration by means of the moisture content of these kinds of foods. Sorry if that ruins the cuteness factor if you thought your cat just really liked ice cream like you do, but as cute as many people may think it is to watch their cat lick things like this, another thing on the list that is potentially very, very harmful to cats, believe it or not, is dairy. This includes whipped cream, like I just mentioned, ice cream, yogurt, and yes, even milk. Just like many humans, most adult cats are actually lactose intolerant. So even though a little bit of dairy every once in a while would maybe, if anything, cause some mild digestive upset, just be aware that it's not necessarily good for your cat and their systems are not meant to handle it. And if they have too much, it could be harmful and potentially fatal, especially if it leads to things like dehydration, through diarrhea and other symptoms. Now, a food or actually group of foods that is in fact very, very toxic to your cats includes onions, garlic, chives, leeks, and shallots. Your cat ingesting even a small portion of any of these foods can lead to harmful health issues such as red blood cell damage. Keep in mind as well that this doesn't just include the whole foods of onions and garlic and shallots and leeks and chives, but it also includes spices, as in dried spices or rubs. And this is why you want to even avoid giving your cat meat that has been cooked and most likely flavored with something, including onion or garlic. And you also want to avoid giving your cat a chicken broth, because usually if you look at the ingredients of chicken broth, it's made with all of these aromatic foods. Salty snacks like pretzels, popcorn, and chips can also be very dangerous if your cat ingests them. Not only do they lack the enzymes to break down these carbohydrates like I mentioned earlier, but they're also very susceptible to a sodium toxicity. And this is something I talk about in a lot more detail in my video entitled is salt or sodium bad for your cat? Which I'll make sure to link in the description below. Another dangerous food for your cat includes yeast dough. And this is mainly because it produces ethanol, which is alcohol, as a byproduct. And by the way, the yeast used in pizza dough and to make breads is different than nutritional yeast, which is actually safe and, and even good for your cat and something that I use as an ingredient in my homemade kitty treats. Nuts are also dangerous for your cat, especially macadamia nuts, but this can include almonds, peanuts, which are technically a legume, walnuts, pistachios. Since nuts have such a high oil content and are high in fat-soluble vitamins, this can easily lead to a toxicity of a certain fat-soluble vitamin, like vitamin E, which could cause severe health issues in your cat. All parts of citrus fruits are very, very dangerous for your cat, including the peel, the rind, and the fruit itself. This includes grapefruits, oranges, and lemons, but luckily cats do have an aversion to citrus things anyway, which is why one of my tips that I don't know if I've shared yet, but I can in a future video, is if you have fake plants around your house, which sometimes cats like to chew and play with even though they're fake, all you have to do is take some water that's infused with lemon juice or even some lemon essential oil and spritz it on the plant and it acts as a cat deterrent so your cat doesn't want to go near it anymore. Other fruits that are super harmful to your cat are cherries, apricots, and peaches. 
Again, this includes the whole fruit, but in this case, it's especially the seed inside. As I've spoken about in the video about eggs and if eggs are safe for cats, you never want to give your cats raw egg whites because that can lead to a biotin deficiency. Raw egg yolks are okay and even good for them due to all of the nutrients in there, but always avoid giving your cat raw egg whites. Something else you want to avoid giving your cat and your dog and any pet in general is cooked bone. When bone is cooked, it becomes really hard and can break into piercing shards as opposed to when it's raw, it's very soft and pliable. So the hazard with cooked bone is more of a mechanical one. It can cause them to choke. It can cause some kind of puncture, but I thought it was worth mentioning in this list. You never want to give your pets cooked bone. You also want to avoid giving your cat anything that's high in carbohydrates or sugar. Again, I know it's like a broken record, but they lack that digestive enzyme to break down and metabolize this type of food. So that can lead to a lot of digestive distress. It can lead to diarrhea and vomiting, which leads to dehydration, which leads to a whole lot of money spent at your vet. Not to mention a sick feline for a baby. A couple other foods that I'm going to mention that you've probably seen on lists as well are avocado, grapes, and raisins. These are foods that are well known to be potentially fatal to dogs and even rodents. But from what I researched, that kind of severe toxicity in cats hasn't been documented. But nevertheless, it's a good idea to avoid giving your cat these foods and to call up your vet if you have any concern if your cat has ingested any of these foods. And symptoms of toxicity, if you aren't sure, include things like vomiting, diarrhea, a change of behavior, excessive drooling is a big one. Excessive drinking of their water can be another hint. It could lead to a loss of appetite or difficulty breathing. And a lot of these symptoms may sound familiar because a lot of them are the same as any potential health issue with your cat. A lot of them are the same for the uh, chemical toxicity that we spoke about in last week's video, as well as other health issues like an allergy. So it's super duper important if you have any concerns, if you think that your cat might be sick or something serious is going on, that you call your vet immediately. And there you have it. That was the list of human foods that you never ever want to give your cat. If you're interested in learning more about the best kind of diet that you can provide your feline fur baby with, a species appropriate diet where they get in the proper nutrients, where they are inherently satiated, to where they don't have to beg for foods that aren't even good for them, then please make sure to check out the Cat Stuff playlist where we have over a hundred, probably close to 200 or more videos about raw cat food, answering all the most common questions. And also make sure to check out catladyfitness.com and stick around here because there is going to be an announcement coming up soon of the book that's coming out to help you guys even more on your journey with your little house lions. If you liked this video, please click that thumbs up below because it helps me know the content that you like to see. And it also helps this video get in the suggested sites of other people. Click that subscribe button here on YouTube. Follow us if you're on Facebook at the Cat Lady Fitness page. Oh, you want to say bye with me? Say thank you so much for watching. I interrupted his nap for this, you guys. I appreciate you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.